Hi, my name is Itzigan Baruch, Technical Marketing Manager at GitLab. I'm frequently asked if it's possible to integrate between Azure DevOps repos and GitLab CI/CD. So the answer for that is yes, it's possible. In this video, I will walk you through that. The integration enables you to keep using Azure DevOps repos to manage your code and use GitLab CI/CD to build, test, and deploy your application. This is my repository in Azure DevOps. Now I will clone it to GitLab. So I, I'm clicking here and uh, this is the clone URL. I just click here to copy it to my clipboard. And if uh, this repository was uh, private, I could uh, generate credentials, username and password that I can use. This is GitLab and I will create a new project. I'm selecting the CI CD for external repo and the repo by URL and I can paste the URL and the username and password are optional. In my case, my repository is public, so I don't need to use username and password. I will give it a, a name and I will set visibility level to public. Create project now. It's mirror the project from Azure DevOps to GitLab. It's going very fast. And if you notice this link, mirrored from uh, Azure DevOps, that means that uh, now any branch commit and tags that I push to Azure DevOps will be automatically mirrored via pull command to GitLab. The next step, I will set up CI CD in GitLab. So any push to Azure DevOps will trigger CI CD pipeline in GitLab. So there are two ways to make it. One way is the easiest one. I will go to CI CD settings and I will enable the auto DevOps. One checkbox, save changes. My GitLab CI CD is now enabled. For each commit that I will push to Azure DevOps repos, GitLab CI CD pipeline will be triggered. Since I already have a Kubernetes cluster set up at a group level, the auto DevOps pipeline will also have a deployment jobs that will deploy my application into that cluster. Auto DevOps configure your CI CD based on out of the box pre-configured CI CD templates. In some cases, you will want to use your customized CI CD settings. So I will turn off Auto DevOps and then what you need is to create a file in the repository. The name of the file is .gitlab. Dash CI YAML. This is the GitLab CI CD configuration file based on YAML. And this is how it looks like. It has all of the stages. You can include also a YAML templates. And here are all of the jobs that we want to run. So because I have it uh, in the root directory of this repository, I'm all set and now I can just uh, start the development. So I will show you a quick example. I will open studio code and this is my source code I'll i will start with create a new branch branch five and now i will make a change i will just add here a message powered by gitlab i will save this change and commit it add a text this is my commit message and I will push it to the server now I will go back to uh, my server and I can see this commit I should see it immediately branch number five and this is what I added. So this change now should be reflected in GitLab. So I'm going to GitLab window and I will go to the branches. And branch five is not here yet. So I will click on update now and I will open the commits. I can see now branch number five and the text and I see this icon means the pipeline is running. I can open uh, the pipeline from here or I can go open it from here. And this 
represent my pipeline graph as I defined in the, my GitLab CI CD YAML. I have a few stages, build, test, review, dust, performance, and cleanup. The build succeeded. And now if I will open the container registry, I can see a new folder for my branch. I can click on it and I see the images that it created for my source code. I go back to the pipeline and I see that uh, it started the, the test stage and it will run a few tests, security scans, license scanning. From here you can uh, access each uh, job and see what's happening. And on the right side you can see details about the job. You can cancel job, you can uh, retry job. If a job failed, you don't have to restart the entire pipeline. You can just fix something and uh, restart a specific uh, job. Jobs view presents all of the jobs in a list view instead of the graph. And in this uh, view, you can see some more details about uh, each job. If tests are uh, defined in this uh, CI-CD pipeline, you will see the test status uh, here in this view. The security tab lists all of the vulnerabilities that the scans found. So once the pipeline is finished and you are satisfied with the test results, you can go back to your uh, code and create a pull request. And you ask to merge branch five into master. And I will create this pull request starting the review process. If reviewers are defined, they can uh, add their comments here. And once it, it is approved, we can complete this uh, pull request and merge the code to master. Split merge. Once it is merged, this will trigger additional pipeline in GitLab. The new pipeline will run now on the master branch. I will open the pipelines and soon we will see a new pipeline starting and the, the pipeline will be different because this pipeline will be not only continuous integration pipeline, it will be CI CD pipeline. So here the pipeline is just started. And this concludes the demo. Thanks for watching. To keep up to date, check out more videos on our YouTube channel.